Hey everyone, Mr. Montgomery again, and today is another lesson with Unit 11, which is going to be some subtracting. Again, we're just subtracting tens. So, it's going to be the same kind of stuff we did yesterday, but today I'm going to show you how we can use this hundreds chart to help us. So, before we start, make sure that you have your robot turtle book open to page 457. If you do not have this page open, pause the video, go get your robot turtle book, get this page open. Alright, but if the video is still rolling, I'm guessing we're good to go. So, um, we have a couple subtraction sentences here up top. It says use the 100 chart to find these differences. And when they say the difference, they're just asking what the answer is. That's it. That's all they're asking. So, I, they, man, they, they put those question marks at the end again, so we can't write. I don't like that. Uh, but it's okay. We can always rewrite it on the side here. So we can start with 50 minus 30. Okay. And we just have to find this answer. So when we use a 100 chart, what we do is we start with our total, which is 50. And we're going to find that on our 100 chart. It's right here. Okay. And then the next number tells us how much we are taking away. Now, my little trick is you look at the tens place and it has a three. So that means we're going to make three jumps. But which way are we going to go? Are we going to make jumps going towards this hundred? Or are we going to make jumps going towards this uh, smaller ten? Well, don't forget when we're subtracting, we need these smaller numbers. So we are going to be making jumps going towards that small 10 when we're subtracting. So let's make three jumps. One, two, three. So now we know that 50 minus 30 is 20. Is there another way you could think about this? Just in case maybe my way is a little confusing. Can you think of another way that you could think about these jumps? Well, another way we could think about this is you could count by tens as you jump until you get to 30. So 10, 20, 30. And then we stop and we still land on 20. So either way, you can get the same answer. So let me just close the chart real quick. So 50 minus 30 is 20. All right, let's try our next number sentence, which says 30 minus 20. So 30 minus 20 equals. Now, what was our first step again? What was our first step? Do we put the 20? Do we find the 20 first? Or should we find the 30? Well, I'm hoping that you're pointing to the 30 right here. Because when we subtract, we always start with the biggest number. So we find our 30. And don't forget, all of the 10s are in this last column here. Okay, we found our 30. What is our next step? We have to make some jumps. We got to take away. How much are we taking away? 20. All right. So remember, you can either use my little trick where you just look at the tens place. It has the number two. You make two jumps. One, two. Or if you don't like that, you can count by tens until you get to that number right there. Ready? So 10, 20. Either way, you land on 10, and that is our answer. So now we know that 30 minus 20 is 10. Right? Seems easy enough, right? Let's try this last one. How should we solve this last one? We have 80 minus 10. All right, how should we solve this? 
point to the number that we should start with. Point to the number on your screen. And the number we start with is, of course, 80. We always start with the biggest number, that total that is always at the beginning of a subtraction sentence. So we find that on our 100 chart right there. Then, how much are we taking away? We're taking away 10. But why are we taking away 10? Well, because there's a, there's a subtraction sign. That's why. So, now using either trick, you can either just look at the, the tens place, see a one, you make one jump going up, because remember, when we are subtracting, we go towards these smaller numbers. We want to go closer to that one. So, you make one jump. Boom. Right there. So, 80 minus 10 is 70. Right? Easy peasy, right guys? Yeah, sure it is. Okay, let's turn our page to 458, and we're going to try some on our own. Okay, make sure you're on page 458, and we're going to be doing the same thing. Uh, the only difference is that they gave us a slightly smaller piece of the 100 chart. That's it. Okay, so let's... I'm not even going to bother doing number one because they did it for us, um, and plus they give us tons of practice problems which I'm super happy about. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about number two here. Now how can you use this hunter chart to help you solve number two? How would you uh, solve? Is there something you would do first? Point to the number that you would want to work with first. Right, you want to work with that 40 first. And then which number would tell you how many jumps? That's right, the 20. So I'm going to let you guys try, because we did quite a few problems already on the first page. Go ahead, try number two on your own. Just give it a try. And then we'll go over it together. All right, if you're not done, just pause the video. That's all. Hit the space bar, pause the video. And if you are done, let's let's uh let's go over it together. Okay. So, like we said, we would start with the number 40. So it means we would find that number first. And there it is. And then the next number tells us how many jumps. How does this second number tell us how many jumps? Was there a trick that we talked about? There was. The number in the tens place can tell you how many jumps. So there's a two in the tens place. So that means we're going to take two jumps up towards this one because we are subtracting. So we jump up. Oops, sorry about that. One, two, and then we stop. We land on 20. So now we know that 40 minus 20 is 20. All right, so that's how this chart can help us, and also that little trick about looking at the tens place. So I'm going to let you all try number three and four completely on your own. Go ahead, give it a whirl. Try number three and four completely on your own. All right, if you're all done, let's talk about these two problems. If you're not done, pause the video, take your time, all right? Please don't rush. All right, so for this, I'm going to use two different colors. So remember, the first number is our starting point. So that's the first number we find on our 100 chart. So we find 30 first. And then the second number can tell us how many jumps by looking at the tens place. There's a 2. 
So it's telling us two jumps. One, two. And we land on 10. So 30 minus 20 is 10. All right, and let's try uh, the next one. Oh, let me kind of clear this up a little bit. All right, so that was 10. And for number four. Oh, gosh. All right, let me get some different colors here. For number four, remember the first number is our starting point. So we start at 10. And then the next number tells us how many we're taking away, which is another 10. But what? Look at this. There's, we can't jump up anymore. So what do you think would be right above here if we had this number chart? I'm sorry, 100 chart still going up. I think it would be a zero right above. So if we take 10 away and we jump up, we have nothing, right? This is a blank space. But before one, we can have zero. So we would land on a zero. If there was just one more block up here, right? Just like that, we would land on zero. So 10 minus 10 is zero. Or you can always remember that whenever you are taking away the same number, you will get zero. All right, you know what? Let's go on to the next page. Let's just do a little bit more practice, just a little bit, just, just, just like a tiny, tiny bit. All right, everyone, so now we're on 459. You know what? Go ahead, do number five and do number six. Let's get a little bit more practice in right here. Go ahead, do number five and six. I'll give you guys a few moments, and then we will go over it together. All right, if you're still working on this, pause the video, all right? Pause the video. When you're ready, hit play. If you're all done, let's go over it. So I know sometimes some of us finish very, very fast. I don't want to give too long of a pause. Let's check our work. And then I'll do the little mental math way afterwards to check it, to triple check it. So first, we're going to find 50. I'll zoom in just a smidge here. Come on. Oh, too much, too much, too much. There we go. Whew. Okay, so let's find the number 50. Found it. And then we look at our next number, and we just have to look at the tens place. We see that there's a 3. So we're taking away 30, so we're just going to take 3 jumps. 1, 2, and 3. We land on 20. So 50 minus 30 is 20. Also, if you wanted to do the mental math way, just write that down so I don't forget, you just think 5 minus 3 equals 2, carry over the 0, that's it. That, that's all the mental math way is, you just subtract the, the tens place. Alright, and for number 6, we have 80 minus 60. Okay, we're going to take uh, 80, found it right here on the chart, we have 80. And we just look at the tens place in our other number. It's 6. So we're taking away 60. So we go back 6 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And this is also 20. So 80 minus 60 is 20. Okay, I'm hoping everyone's feeling much more comfortable with subtracting tens. Now, just remember, guys, if... The 100 chart doesn't work well for you, and you're better with drawing pictures. Go for it. No one's going to say you're not allowed to, okay? If you're, doing, if you're having a quiz, and uh, your teacher gives you an extra piece of paper or something for you to write down your work, guess what? Drawing is absolutely allowed. It is totally allowed. Look at this, 5, take away 30, take away 3 of them, get 20. I mean, if this works for you, go for it. Don't let, I mean, don't let anyone make you think that one way is better than the other. Because they're, 
one way is not better than the other. It's just what way works best for you. That's it. It's just about what way works best for you. So even though we're going through different methods every single day, it's just so you have ideas that there are other ways to solve. That's it. That's all it is, guys. Um, so if you're not in my class, make sure you let your teacher know that you are all done. Uh, ask him or her what they would like you to do next. And for my friends, let's do our independent work. Okay, let's talk about our independent work. Click on that man in the blue box. And then, of course, click on classwork, because we always do that. And you will see a assignment. An assignment says 11-2 quick check. There are some Savas questions right here. And then if you get that done and you still have time, of course, here is an IXL extra practice challenge. And it's going to be a little bit different from the Savas questions. You guys get 100 on that. And I see that you're, or I see just he's just working really hard trying to try get that 100%. Of course, I will move your name up on the chart. I hope that this uh, lesson is pretty easy for you guys. I'm hoping that you're enjoying this so far. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. And as always, guys, I'll see you later. I hope you have a great day.